Praise the Lord. I will take you to the book of Job. Uh, Job chapter 21 verse 14 onwards. The Lord is calling Job when he lost everything. The only power that will keep him always in the presence of the Lord is to call upon the Lord. Whatever may be the disturbance comes, it is through life of prayer he should be able to protect the presence of God in him. So the deliverance comes from holiness. Holiness means keeping alive the presence of God, moving around the presence of God and that happens through the life of prayer. Verse 13 onward, they spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. This is what the world, yet they say to God, depart from us, for we do not desire the knowledge of your ways. When you don't seek God, when you don't pray, you tell Lord, go away from us. We are satisfied with the drinks we have. We are satisfied with the pleasures we get from the world. We are satisfied with the relationship we have with the people, the friendship we have. We are satisfied with the work we have. We, we don't need you. The enemy will work. He will not allow you to raise your eyes to God. From inside, the enemy will tell you, Depart from us. We do not desire the knowledge of your ways. When you don't pray, this is what will happen. The knowledge of God will be stopped. When you stop praying, the knowledge of God will be stopped. And then, the knowledge of the evil will come. Oh! One guy will come and tell you, Are, yesterday I had a, such a dream, man. It is, it's very so, so sweet, you know. I took three, four, but nothing happened, man. Even without soda, I, they feel so proud about it. That is the great thing. Aha! So today we will see. Today I will also come. We will have a wonderful time. What they call it? Wonderful time. We will have great time. All wrong. What God can give it to us. All those terms. All this kind of thing will be given to the enemy's games. And man, I have brought the cigar from... Uh, Britain and nothing you don't feel at all you can go on at a time then I finished man I see I, I am great man I will finish 20 and show you let's see in the evening come on you go from death, pit to pit the enemy slowly moves you like a zero from there you are in five little time you are praying Satan has brought you to zero from zero, he will take it to minus 5, minus 10. Again, to come back even to this 5, you have to come back minus 20 and again 5. You become very far from God. The enemy goes on, brings one after another. First he brings maybe the spirit of smoking cigar, spirit of drinking alcohol and talking, speaking ill of others. Slowly, spirit of prostitution, spirit of all, one by one, they go on, tie him, tie her. So, the first thing to bind us, the enemy will say, we don't need your knowledge. We don't need your ways. What, mommy? Going on praying, 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 stop praying. What is this? If you want, you go and pray. No, son, if you want me, I have seen you dying. 
in your sin. If you don't pray, if you don't have light, what is left out is darkness. If I am your mummy, if I am your daddy, I have to lead you. If you love me, this is the way we have to show. That's why a beautiful sentence is given in the book of Proverbs. Since some of your mothers here, I can tell you. Chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Train up the child not as you wish to go or as you desire to go as, or as the child wants to go. No. The word of God says, train up the child in the ways he should go. There is a way for the child to go which God has kept and when he is old, he will not depart from it. When he becomes old, so when he is young, you show what is the way of the Lord and then he will not go. We continue Job chapter 21. What are the ways through which the enemy binds man? Removing him from holiness. Removing the person from the presence of God. Verse 15. Who is this Al Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit do we have if we pray to him? The next thought the enemy will bring to defile you, to take away the holiness from you, to bind you in bondage. What he will teach you? He will put this kind of thought. What is this Almighty? We should serve him. What profit will I get? If I pray, will I get this? If I work only, I can man. If I don't work, will you feed? Will anybody give me money? This kind of thoughts the enemy will put. What profit will I get if I pray? Simply you are going on telling me, pray, pray, pray. I got up and prayed. I went for the Sunday Mass enough. Mommy, please don't disturb me. Daddy, please don't do. Why? The enemy is roaring like a lion. All that he wants is to bind us and bind our children. We get fed up. I let him go whatever he wants. No. You and I are given a mission. Till the end of our life. Monica, husband became drunkard. When she went to the priest, Ambrose said, this man, if he would have fallen into the hand of some another woman, that woman would have left him long ago. But God gave this man into your hands that you may win his soul. Until then, that drunkard husband was a burden. From that moment, when she heard from Ambrose, it became a mission for her. So he used to, she used to search for him where he has fallen and bring him gently, put oil to his feet, taking care of him. You know what he said, Monica, I would have died like a pig in the dirt, but today I am dying like an angel at the lap of an angel. You saved me. Monica says there is no greater joy. I did not get gold from my husband. I did not get any house from my husband, but I am happy. I could save the soul of my husband to the Lord. Soon the son became. By the time mother was 65 years. You know what is the meaning of age 65? By the time you get knee pain. You can't walk properly. And that is age. The son is a grown up son. But prangad. That 65-year-old lady raised her hands and prayed because she knew 
the body if it is given to the evil it can become instruments of destruction on the other hand the same body if it is given to god according to romans 12 2 offer your bodies as a living sacrifice to god the same body will become power instruments of power instruments that will destroy the evil yes in, in the book of exodus chapter 16 when moses raised the hands for many hours as long as the hands were raised up the enemy amalekites were destroyed 